for the June 4 family, I hope that today is the beginning of a sense of justice. A suspect named nearly four months to the day after the murder of a New Jersey councilwoman. The arrest more than 300 miles away and the victim's connection to her accused killer. That's our top story at 11. Hello, everyone. I'm David Ushery. I'm Natalie Pascarella. Police had to look outside the Garden State for the man who they now say murdered Eunice June 4. They tracked the Cerevo Councilwoman's accused killer all the way to Chesapeake, Virginia. The 28-year-old suspect was not a stranger. Prosecutors say June 4 knew him from church. News Force Jackie Beckford live in Newark to explain how investigators linked him to the crime, Jackie. Yeah, and Natalie, this church in Newark is one of the only direct connections prosecutors noted today between uh, the victim and the suspect in terms of how they knew each other. Uh, we talk, tried to talk to some members who are here tonight for a meeting, but they declined uh, any comment. Meanwhile, uh, June, Eunice Jumfor's family, her parents, are asking more questions tonight about why their daughter was killed. New questions tonight following an arrest in the puzzling murder of 30-year-old New Jersey lawmaker Eunice June 4. We need to get justice. We need those answers. 28-year-old Rashid Ali Bynum captured in Chesapeake, Virginia. Nearly four months to the day, prosecutors say, he ambushed the Cerebral Councilwoman in her SUV outside her home. Her 11-year-old daughter telling the Associated Press last month she heard the shots that killed her mother. We were waiting for my mom to look for a parking space, and then she was taking a lot of time. So we started calling her over and over again, but it wouldn't pick up. So and then we heard gunshots and we started calling the police. Today, June 4's sister, father and pastor watched on as the Middlesex County prosecutor laid out the case. This was a very complex, extensive case with painstaking police work. Yolanda Ciccone crediting surveillance video, easy pass records, a witness sighting, and Bynum's cell phone pinging near the scene right before the murder for the arrest. And inside June 4's phone... A search of the victim's phone revealed Bynum as a contact in Eunice June 4's phone with the acronym FCF. That church affiliated with this one, the Champion Royal Assembly in Newark, the church through which the rising Republican politician met her new husband in Nigeria. June 4 seen here in promotional material on the church's Facebook page. The same church prosecutors say Bynum had also worked for at one point. That on the day of the murder, Bynum searched the internet for information on Champion Royal Assembly Church, as well as the area in Cerville, New Jersey. But the attorney for June 4's parents says prosecutors have yet to reveal the proverbial smoking gun, a motive. They are trying to also understand the relationship, uh, how this person came to target Eunice, what was the rationale. While the family seen here leaving the prosecutor's office is thankful to investigators, John Wisniewski says the prosecutor has yet to share why their daughter was targeted. Maybe they know, but certainly they haven't shared that. Uh, and that is something that is vexing the family as we speak right now. Bynum is charged with first degree murder and several weapons charges. He is currently in Virginia awaiting extradition. We're live in Newark tonight. Jackie Beckford, News 4, New York.